program. Thanks for having me on, Gary. Karen, um, just before we went to air, we were discussing uh, the global corruption, the global syndicate, uh, the bankers. Who are these people? Who are the individuals? Who are the puppet masters pulling the strings of, of the bankers? Well, because <laughs> you meant you had mentioned yeah. the Jesuits in, the, in a previous interview, so I'm intrigued as to know where is the connection to the Jesuit order, uh, as well as you know, in, through the Vatican and, and and beyond. There's many secret societies in the world. Um, many people speak of the Illuminati and the Masonic orders, um, the Order of the Garter. Um, many of these super elite organizations uh, that operate in secrecy. So. I know I've named a few already, but if you could help us elaborate on these points, who are the people pulling the strings? Well, do you remember when um, there were ghettos and you had something called a Judenrat that were the ones that would draw up the lists of the Jews that were going to get exported the next traitors to their people mm -hmm. who were helping... Um, because they thought they were going to save themselves. That's maybe why they did that, but it doesn't matter what their motives were. They were doing the work against their people. Now, think of this as an elaboration on a larger scale, and what we're dealing with actually is humanity and the elite, the secret societies, the Vatican. They're traitors to humanity. Because the one at the very core that's pulling the strings is a different species. They're not the human race. They're called Homo Capensis. They have been on Earth together with humanity for before this Ice Age. And the reason I know about this is because um, I was um, trying to help out a movie producer um, who couldn't get his movie um, it was called The Banksters Made Off with, Amer with America, uh, Edmund Drille, and he introduced me to his network of whistleblowers. One of the people in that network is a neurologist who went to Yale Medical School and was retired, and he was trying to find out what was at the very core of all of this corruption. He's not fallen angels. Mm -hmm. They are critters. People who I am getting emails from saw them the day before. They look just like human beings, except they have these big skulls. And that is why in the Vatican, you see these crazy meters, is what they're called. And that's why the very first Jew, Moses, wore one of those things, because he was, uh, he was one of those homo capensis as well. We have DNA samples of them. And, and the reason we know this is because it was in the papyra of one of the pyramids. I found this out from um, one of the, from the internet. But um, what, what, what is really remarkable, actually, is that we have had so much evidence and we haven't had any studies into it. Um, if, you, if you look at the archaeology, there, there is um, a civilization off the coast because the, um, the sea level has risen by 400 meters. But what do we know about this ancient pre-Ice Age civilization? We do have a map that's left over from there because it shows the coastline of Antarctica before the ice froze on it. And it's, it's following that land mass perfectly. So, so what we have is we have evidence. There's also evidence in South Africa there are a lot of these skulls that you find. and what You're you... speaking of the elongated skulls that, that have been found um, in graves. And even some, some of, the, some of the, um, the skeletons found with these are, are, in fact, giant, giant people. That is something different. No, I'm not talking about that. I am talking about a large skull. The and elongated skull, the, the elongated cranium. Some are in Peru. Some are elongated. But in um, other places, they're just round like pumpkins. And the individuals that were seen in Egypt, I've seen drawings of what their skulls looked like. It was just massive, much larger than human being skulls. And also, you know, you, in, in a human skull, there's um, 
something they call the parietal, where it's in three different segments. This um, critter doesn't have those separations. It's just so. Two. So you're saying that the, this specific species of individuals um, is occupying the Vatican and functioning through the Jesuit order? Yes, but they're also working in the banks in Portugal because one of the people who saw this, um, you know, in Saturday Night Live, there was um, a broadcast of something called the Coneheads. Mm. So that's a slang word for them. Although my mother refers to them as the Boneheads. <laughs> but they're alive and running around and doing all kinds of mischief. Now, so, some people might find the information that you're presenting right now to be completely... Some, some people might say it's completely crazy. What do you say to those people who are watching this right now going, I don't believe a word of it? I would say you need to read the articles that Ed Spencer has sent me. You need to look at the skulls in the museums. You need to read the DNA studies. And you need also to think about what kind of motive um, the human beings might have for being traitors to their species. Why would they do this? Why would we have a banking system where all the money ends up going to the Vatican and people run around starving? Why would we have, um, for example, um, if you look at what the actual teachings of Jesus Christ were, as opposed to when you had um, translations and various things happened and got put in there. And as um, some of the whistleblowers have been discussing this, information Articles on the Homo Capensis have disappeared from the internet. They've been taken down. And other critics who, I don't know why they're getting all the coverage they are, and they've been getting features in Wikipedia. Let me talk a little bit about Wikipedia. Sure, okay? sure. I had an experience with Wikipedia because I got involved in trying to edit the um, biography on Robert Zellick, who was the World Bank president. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to explain to people that the United States had lost the gentleman's agreement, which you could demonstrate. You could see, I couldn't get that into, into Wikipedia. They were clearly being controlled by this group that, um, that is controlling all the capital markets so do you and think the that, banks. So do you think that these same people were preventing your Wikipedia edits? Yes, and what I'm trying to say is that this person who was attacking the information on Homo Capensis had a big, long article featuring her on Wikipedia. So I know who Wikipedia is. I know whose interests Wikipedia serves. And when somebody who's just starting out gets a big write-up, I know what that really means.